Hello everyone and welcome back to Robert's English Classroom. Yay! The topic of today's video is phrases using the word work. How many do you think you know? Now these phrases are very useful and we use them in English conversation almost every day. Now, if this is your first time to Robert's English Classroom, welcome. I hope you learned something. And if you are coming back and you have been here before, don't forget to click the subscribe button or give me a thumbs up if you have learned a lot of English or even just a little bit of English. It, it's really helpful. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin with phrases using the word work. Let's go. Now, before I get started, I must tell you, today's video will be a little bit shorter than usual. Now, why is that? I, I'm not lazy, but I am feeling a little bit tired because, well, I'll tell you the story. I live in Taiwan, and Taiwan has all these great mountains, and I love to go outside and hike in these mountains. But sometimes these, these long hikes take a week or 10 days. Well, I just came home from a six day hiking trip in the mountains and oh, it was very, very tiring. I was camping outside. I was carrying a heavy pack every day and I even twisted my ankle a little bit. So I've come back and I'm feeling not lazy, just a little bit tired. So I thought, well, I want to make the English video this week, but maybe I'll just make a shorter one. So I'm sorry but it's still good, meaningful content. It doesn't need to be a long video to be a good video. Okay, so let's begin with the first phrase using work, which is work on, work on. Now, work on means that you are doing something like a project or like an assignment or maybe something at work or maybe you have a hobby and you are like painting or doing some kind of art and you can work on that. So what we do is we say, I work on something, work on something. So let's give some examples first. What are you working on? So we can say, I'm working on a school assignment. I'm working on a video because I'm making a video. I'm working on my house. Maybe you are building your house or you are fixing something in your house. I'm working on a painting. Maybe you are painting or you are making some kind of art project. So working on is very easy to use. It just means you are doing something and it can be for fun or it can be for work. And we say, I work on this thing. The second phrase is work out. Work out very simply means to exercise, to, to use your body and, and, and do all those great things to make yourself healthy. Now, some of you might work out like me often, or some of you might not. Some of you might be a couch potato. So what do we mean by workout? Well, workout can be running, swimming, cycling, doing yoga, lifting weights, walking. These are all kinds of workouts that we do. So let's give some examples of how to use work out. Where do you work out? Somebody might ask you, where do you work out? So you can say, I work out at home or I work out at the gym or I work out outside. When do you work out? Oh, I work out in the morning. I work out at lunch. I work out after work. How do you work out? How do you work out means what do you do? I swim. I cycle and run. I like to do yoga. I lift weights and go hiking. So work out very easily means exercise and you can just ask people where do you work out? When do you work out? How do you work out? And you can give that answer. So I'll ask you that question. Do you work out? Where do you work out? When do you work out? And how do you work out? Write your answers in the comment box. The next phrase is work with. 
work with. Now work with has two different meanings. We can use it in two ways. The first one is very easy. Work with a person. Work with a person. So maybe you're at school or you're at work. So at work, I work with a coworker or at school. I work with a classmate or I work with a friend. So you are doing something with a person and it can be one person or two or many people. I'm working with a big group or I am working with three people. Let's give some examples. Who do you work with? I work with James at school. I work with my girlfriend. I work with a coworker on a project. I work with people who want to be good runners. So this meaning of work with is with people. Now work with also has a second meaning when we are doing something using an object. So it won't be a person, it will be something. So we'll say, I work with wood. Now what does that mean? That means you use wood to maybe build something or create some kind of art. So you can say, I work with wood or clay. I work with clay. So you like to use your hands and make uh, pots or bowls out of clay. So we can say, I work with clay. Another common phrase is, I work with my hands. Work with my hands. That means that you use your hands to do your job or you use your hands in a hobby. You can say, hey, I like to work with my hands, so I like to design and create art. Or some people, their job is working with their hands. So they are builders or they are outside, you know, using their body and their hands to do work. I'm working with my hands. So let's give some examples. What do you work with? I like to work with wood. I make furniture. I often work with clay. I make teapots. I work with my hands. I like to fix things. I work with my hands. I like to build things. So, who do you work with is a person that you're working with. What do you work with is what you are using to do work. And that special phrase, I work with my hands. The last work phrase is work towards. Work towards. Now work towards means you are doing something to reach a goal. Now this goal could be saving some money or this goal could be getting a degree from college. This goal could be retiring. Maybe you are older, you are ready to stop working, so you work towards retirement. If you have a goal, you can work towards this goal. So let's give some examples. What are you working towards? I'm working towards a goal. I'm working towards retirement. I'm working towards saving money. I'm working towards paying off a loan. I'm working towards a new job. I'm working towards taking a trip. I think often in our lives, we at some time are working towards something. We have a goal in our mind and we want to work towards that. Often it could be money related or maybe it's just working to get something to help your career or you're going to finish school. So you're working towards graduation. There are many things that we work towards and it's very common, I think, with most people in the world. Now, one last thing we can say is how long have you been working towards something? How long did you work towards something? Let's give an example here. How long did you work towards this goal? I worked towards this goal for three years. I worked towards this goal for only a month. I worked towards this goal a long time. So work towards another useful phrase using the word work. Okay, that's it for today. Again, I'm sorry, it's a short video. I told you I'm tired because I was hiking in the mountains all last week and I just need a little bit of a break. But hey, these four phrases are really useful and we use them in English, English conversation quite a lot. So it's good to practice them and learn them. Again, if you have any questions, write them in the comment box and I will get back to you. Okay, have a good day, keep practicing, keep learning, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 
Hi everyone, I'm Robert. Remember to click on the subscribe button or the like button if my videos are helping you learn English. I'll see you next time.